Respected Chairman of the day's program, our most respected and honorable Chief Minister, who is also the host of the day's program, our guest of honor, General Rana Pratap Kalita, who is also an ex Sainik school student. Our Chief Minister is also an ex Sainik student. GOC Tree Crops, MLA and Advisor Skalu, who is also from Sainik. And I will not be able to mention all the names, but we have a host of bureaucrats, IS officers, IPS officers, head of departments, all from different Sainik schools of the country. I, on my own behalf, on behalf of the All Boys Sainik School Association, do heartily welcome you to this inaugural program. I will be failing on my part if I don't give a make a message, special mention on our guest of honor, who in spite of his busy schedule had come to inaugurate this small guest house of the All Boys Association Sinus School. Sir, we have a history behind this, and I know you are well aware, but this is the first guest house in all over India built by the All Boys Sinus School Association. This was only possible because of the help from our present Chief Minister. He has been in the assembly for eight times, and he is currently the present chief minister for the fifth time. If he has any quality in him, I believe it's from above God Almighty, and also a small contribution from the Sainte School, including you, sir. Because of your smartness, your intellect, you have reached this far. If any of us has reached any level, it is because of the grace and helping hand of God Almighty and also from the backup, the training we receive from Sainte School. So we give glory and thanks to God and not forgetting Sainte School as well. Sir, as you know, Nagaland is known for festivals, land of festivals. Chimukidima, the soil that you are standing here, the soil that you are placed here is a land of opportunities. So I, on behalf of the land of, land of festivals, land of opportunities, land of warriors, land of uh, traditions, land of pioneers, land of warriors, and also on behalf of the entire Warriors Forever, that is the motto of the Sine School, do welcome you to this auspicious occasion. And on behalf of the Science School All Boys Association, we wish you the very best day, though it will be for a very short while. Thank you and God bless. Let us warmly welcome to the stage our very own Sri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, to share some of his thoughts with us today. Chairperson, who is also the president of the All Boys of uh, Nagaland chapter, respected our honored guest, General Rana Pratap Kalitaji, the GOC, GOC Eastern Command, and his colleagues, Trikro Ranabahar, and other <coughs> officers in uniform and in the civil. My colleagues, Mr. Azo, 
Mr. Tikal Sukalu and all my dear old boys from Nagaland and from outside the state who have assembled here, not forgetting our new boys from Polwa. I can see them in a new uniform with their teachers, media persons, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, it is a very happy occasion to be coming together a reunion after a very, very long time. And in occasion like this, or when you meet your old friends, sometimes you cannot recognize them 30, 40 years after. But it is so pleasant to meet our all boys. And today, what a joy, what an occasion in inaugurating the all boys guest house by our dear General Kalita. I'm aware and we are all aware he is commanding the Eastern and after this function, he is flying to Imphal to perform his duties. And on our invitation, he'll be flying in the morning to Kohima to attend the Hornbill Festival and the traditional stone pulling ceremony by T. Kale of Kohima. Today, we can see one another that all boys means we are all now. And we are extremely happy, as Abhu had stated. We have to be grateful and we have to appreciate our Alma Mater for making us a responsible person, a contributing person, and working for the public, building our nation. We have to congratulate ourselves, but the credit goes to our base where we were trained to be a real human and to contribute and to have a positive outlook in our life. But till such time, I would say, most of us, I won't say 100%, most of the old boys, we were known as naughty boys. And in the family, the parents thought that these people should be sent to a scientific school, a military school to discipline, to learn the other side of life. So not only me in my family, but three brothers, we are six brothers, three of us went to signing school. And we benefited a lot. And why three brothers went to Sanic school? I will tell you, because boys are naughty. But my father, he was a British Assam regiment. And he came out from service in 1947, when India got independence. The amnesty was given and the serving soldiers were given option to take discharge and the young youths to build up families, to build a nation. 
So, my father belongs to the first regiment of Assam regiment and they got trained from Happy Valley, Shillong. And during Second World War, they were made to do scouting in their respective areas. Why Assam Regiment? That time, the whole Northeast is known as Assam. Assam Province, Assam State. And because the Japanese had taken over Burma, taken over Rangoon, and they were ready to march to India through Imphal and Kohima, because the British and the Allied forces are defending. That's how there was requirement for the local to be recruited, and where that time they were all recruited, they do scouting, and they do a lot of support for the British and Allied forces. And that's how all the regiments, they got King George the Sixth Medal, the Burma Star, Regiment Stars, and so on and so forth. So, being a son of a soldier, he must have thought that we children also should be disciplined and live a life because it will make us realize the real truth of life. You have to face problems, you have to struggle, you will have challenges. You have to prepare for real life. And that's how we all went to Sainik school and I attended Purulia Sainik school. So that was my life. Today, as the president, Mr. Abiyu Kire, stated, by the grace of God and people's goodwill and support, a man like me and my colleagues and many more, we became politicians, public servant. Many joined services, the premier service of IS, IPS, central services, bureaucrats, technocrats, as mentioned, doctors and in church as reverends and serving our people together. So, when we discuss about a guest house for Sainik School, we should do something because everybody will not be same. They may need a guest house when they come around or their, themselves, their children, or even days to come. Now, in fact, Nagaland chapter, we should write down the names of the old boys and place it in the building so that whoever come and stay here, they will remember that those people they will like to go through the names and they will realize that so many people from all parts of the state uh, had studied and served our people. Well, this construction was initially thought to be in Sainik School, Polwa, because the parents the visitors who come, the guests who come, it is difficult also for them because not like our days. Our days we were too far away from home. We only get partials. 
And what persons we liked most was chutney. <laughs> very, very hot chili and salty. And that is our best partials we receive. And in a hostel, when partials arrive, we share with friends. And we enjoy like brothers, like family, and we used to enjoy our life. Unfortunately, I left the school early, but when I was there, I don't know, but I was made a class monitor, and because maybe I'm a naughtiest in the class, so that I can discipline other class friends. Must be the teachers that had identified me to be the class monitor. Because class monitor, you know, he has all the authorities to report also or to provide all the necessary uses of stationaries and you have to be disciplined even to go for tea break or lunch or anything. And it is a real leadership training. Every day you go for sports. Then every day the discipline of the sports, one is picked up as captain. And then everybody gets chance of training yourself as leader. So ultimately, the alma mater is the real lesson we got. And today we are somebody. And I'm extremely happy and proud of the old boys. You are, and we are contributing in nation building. I hope in future also, will continue to maintain that. Today, we, are, we see the Polwa Sainik School boys here with us in uniform. When the then Defense Minister, George Fernandez, was there, a group of our old friends, I was in the government, so we approached him and he readily agreed to give us a signing school. And so we have this signing school and it is producing a lot of quality educations and getting into various professions. I hope not only Naga boys, but others also uh, coming and studying here. So these will be cultural exchanges. Most of us, we go out for studies, but very few people come from outside to our school and colleges. So it's one way traffic. That's why we feel that we are isolated. We should encourage and uh, one thing I learned is the Sainik schools are also admitting girls also. So I hope uh, this is the era of women empowerment. If we don't empower them, they will empower themselves and then we will be in difficulty. That's why it's better we empower them and be friendly so that we, male and female, we serve our country. So I'm extremely happy that General Kalida has come and inaugurated our guest house. And I hope we will all make good use of this building. Anything more to be done, we will work it out. And uh, you see, it's a little getting a little congested. We are trying to set up a kind of a convention center 
where you can host regional uh, meetings or national meetings. And this district is going to be uh, education district and also sports district. We're going to host Northeast Olympic. We are also, we have already taken decision. We have not formally did the bidding of national games to be played in Nagaland. That's how we are promoting building infrastructures. Now we can bid, we can get, but my worry is medal hope. If we host and if we don't get medals, it will be very embarrassing. That's why we are watching, promoting our youth, our athletics. If we are in a position to win some medals, definitely we would like to host because our neighbors, they had done, uh, they already had hosted and they're getting a lot of medals, particularly Manipur, Assam, and of course, we're also getting, but we have not come to the benchmark. And therefore, all boys working with the new boys together, let us build our state, a vibrant state and progressive state so that we don't uh, remain to be a liability, but we become a contributor in nation building. Thank you and God bless. Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nefurio, the distinguished dignitaries on this stage, Jal Sahi and the officers from three corps, the old boys of Senic schools which have gathered here today, as also the young cadets from Seni School Pungla, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. I am thankful to God and to the Honorable CM and the Old Boys Association of Seni School Nagaland to have given me this honor to be present here amongst the wall and to inaugurate the guest house that has been made by the Seni School Association here. It's a great honor for me and thank you for, for bestowing such honor on me. Uh, I think the sentiments of being an old boy of Sainik school and what remembrance we still carry have been summed up beautifully by the Honorable Chief Minister during his speech. Uh, the only thing, difference uh, which I would like to state that firstly, I was not a naughty boy, and <laughs> like the probably the CM, and I didn't know that you have to be a naughty boy to become CM five times in a state. <laughs> if I had known that, I would have probably be, be, been a naughty boy. Uh, as also, I think we should not call ourselves old, we should call ourselves as boys. I think it's good to call each other boys. I think that's how we should address each other. Uh, at least it boosts up our ego when you are crossing that age of 60 and going towards going further in our in our life. So it's good to call ourselves old boys, at least you feel younger. I think the step taken by the Old Boys Association of Sainik Schools here in Nagaland uh, to establish a guest house in the extremely approachable place in Chumukdima in Dimapur has been a very good step which need to be emulated by all other Seni schools, association of the other states as well. And I think uh, we all have heard that credit for this incredible step goes to the Honorable Chief Minister. And we are grateful to, uh, to you for having shown us this way and the path for the other associations as well. The history of the Seni School Association here as also how the guest house has come about, 
has been spoken by the President, Mr. Kire, as also the Honorable CM, so I'm not going to repeat those. But a uh, couple of things which I would like to share in front of this August audience, and of course, it also gives me immense pleasure to find some of my familiar faces from my school here, including my seniors and some of my classmates who managed to be here today. Thank you very much for being here and representing the school along with me. And a uh, couple of uh, last month, uh, I had visited Seni School, Gualpara. Uh, you all are aware that I'm going to retire by end of this month. So that was my last visit to Seni School, Gualpara. And uh, while I was addressing the students, the present cadets of Seni School, Gualpara, uh, that is the first time in my life, uh, 40 years in Army, and including 10 years because I joined Seni School in 1973. So it's been 50 years since I've spent my life in uniform. I think that was the first time in my life ever I became slightly emotional. I think that is because we joined the school at the age of 10, 11 years, as 10, 11 year old boy. And when we passed out at the age of 6, 17, 16, 18, we, we, from a young boy, young child, I would say, we grew up to be some sort of a young man. I think that transition, that camaraderie, what you learn during that impressionable age, I think no one can forget that ever in life. I think that that's the reason why all these any schools all over the country has groomed so many leaders. The president has narrated the names of the people from Nagaland who studied in Seni school and who grew up in their respective professions, of course, led by the Honorable Chief Minister. Even in the other professions, we had the names of the people who have done extremely well. And similarly, we have seen students from Seni school doing extremely well in armed forces as well. There has been a number of officers who have risen up to the ranks of generals who belong to Seni school, who studied in Seni schools. And even in other fields also, people have done well. I think it is because of the sense of commitment, the discipline, and the desire to excel, which is ingrained in us in our school days, which enable us and which empower us to achieve the goals and objectives that we set for ourselves. And I think that goes for the young boys sitting here today in uniform. You are the future. You have to take on this mantle. We all have passed that stage. You, know. you are the future of the state. You are the future of the country. You have to grow up and try and contribute towards nation building. You all are aware that Senate schools were established as a primary feeder institution for the armed forces. So your primary aim, I would advise, should still be to join forces with girls having come into sending school and also we having number of women officers who are doing exceedingly well in various fields, wherever they are deployed in the armed forces. We want more boys and girls of the Northeast and Nagaland to join the armed forces and excel to become a successful Army, Navy or Air Force officer. But for that, the first thing what you need to do is to set your goal and then you have to work hard. Uh, there is no shortcut to success. I think all of us would agree on that. Uh, there is no shortcut to success. You have to work hard, then only you will get your results. And before doing that, you need to dream. You need to dream big and thereafter strive to ensure that your dream becomes a reality. I think I would end with this. It's been a great honor once again to be here and sharing this dash with such eminent personalities and speaking in front of some of my seniors who probably uh, were responsible in some way or other in molding me in what I have become today. I would also like to remember, to rather take this occasion or use this occasion to remember all our teachers and the non-teaching staff who are responsible for grooming us from a young boy to 
to a young man who could shoulder the greater responsibilities as we grew in our professional and personal life. Let us all come together and remember the pledge which we took and ensure that we contribute towards nation building in whatever manner we can. Thank you very much and Jai Hind.